Hello, and welcome to Living English. Today in our drama, Anne goes to the market to buy food for a dinner she is going to make for Sarah and Mark. Listen for the words she uses to ask for the things she needs. Here's Sisters and Brothers. Who's next, please? Can I have some prawns, please? Fresh frozen or cooked? Frozen, please. How much do you need? About 500 grams, please. That'd be $10, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can I help you? Some of these leeks. How many, love? Three. Uh, something else? Uh, some ginger? Uh, right there, love. Oh, right. Just this piece, please. OK. Do you have any bean sprouts? Yes, we do. How much would you like? About 100 grams. Will that be all? Yes, thanks. That'll be $4, thanks. Thank you. OK. Who was that in the crowd? You'll have to keep watching to find out. Today, we'll be looking at the words we use for amounts or quantities. Listen to how Anne asks for an amount or a quantity. Could I have some prawns, please? It's a request, so Anne says, could I and please. Could I have some prawns, please? Practice saying it with her. Have some prawns, please. Anne asks for some prawns. We use some for amounts that are not definite or exact. Listen to Anne use the word some again. Can I help you? Some of these leeks. She doesn't want all the leeks, just some of them. What else does she want at that stall? Uh, something else? Uh, some ginger? Some ginger. She wants an amount of ginger. What other word did Anne use to ask for an amount of something? Listen. Do you have any bean sprouts? Any. You can use any instead of some in questions about amounts. Do you have any bean sprouts? Is the same as, do you have some bean sprouts? We also use any with a negative such as don't to mean none. The attendant could have said, we don't have any. That means they have none. But you can't say, we don't have some. What does the attendant say? Listen. Do you have any bean sprouts? Yes, we do. How much would you like? He says, yes, we do. He could have said, yes, we have some. You can use some for a positive amount. Let's practice. I have no bananas. I don't have bananas. I don't have any bananas. Here are bananas. Here are some bananas. Now, what word does the attendant use to ask Anne what amount she wants? Listen again. Do you have any bean sprouts? Yes, we do. How much would you like? How much? We use the word much when asking for the amount of something that someone wants. Try saying, how much would you like with the attendant? How much would you like? We say how much for things we measure and weigh, such as quantities of food. Listen to what Anne says in reply. About 100 grams? She would like about 100 grams. 100 grams is a weight. She wants that amount measured on the scales. 
Here's some sugar. Let's see how much it weighs. It weighs about 300 grams. Watch and listen to Anne getting the quantity of prawns she wants. How much do you need? About 500 grams, please. Notice that Anne said about 500 grams and about 100 grams. She means that it doesn't have to be exactly those weights. It could be 505 grams or 99 grams. Now listen to what the attendant asks about the amount of leeks Anne wants. How many, love? The attendant has asked how many. He's not asking about weight. How will Anne reply? Listen. How many, love? Three. Three. When you're asked how many things you want, you reply with the number that you want. Anne wants three leeks. How many presenters are there on Living English? Two. There's Michelle and me. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Brenton. Hello, everyone. What have you brought in today? Some eggs. How many? A dozen. What's a dozen? A dozen is 12 things. This is a dozen eggs. Eggs are sold as a dozen or a half a dozen. A half a dozen is six? Yes. Do you like boiled eggs, Brenton? Yes, but I don't like them too hard. I like the yolk to be soft. How do you make sure that you boil the eggs in water for just the right amount of time? I use an egg timer like this. It shows just how much time has passed. Now it's time for you to say much or many to make the question to my answers. My first answer is, I boil the eggs for two minutes. What's the question? For how time do you boil the eggs? For how much time do you boil the eggs? I boil the eggs for two minutes. Now another answer. I have three eggs. What's the question? How eggs do you have? How many eggs do you have? I have three eggs. The eggs weigh 60 grams. What's the question? How do the eggs weigh? How much do the eggs weigh? The eggs weigh 60 grams. The eggs cost $2 a dozen. How did the eggs cost? How much did the eggs cost? The eggs cost $2 a dozen. Now let's listen again to how much Anne's prawns cost. That'd be $10, thank you. That's quite a lot. She bought quite a lot of prawns. 500 grams is half a kilogram. Sometimes I only want a few prawns and I ask for a dozen. So a few is a dozen? No, a few can be a dozen and it can be five. A few can be any small number more than two. Anne paid a few dollars for the bean sprouts. Let's listen to how the attendant asked her for those few dollars. That'll be four dollars, thanks. Of course, he doesn't ask her for a few dollars, he asks her for the exact amount. He said, that'll be. This is short for that will be and means the price is, or could you please give me? Try saying it with him. That'll be four dollars, thanks. What word is the opposite of a few, Brenton? The opposite of a few is many. Here, 
are a few pens. And here are many pens. Now it's your turn. There are matches in this box. There are a few matches in this box. There are matches in this box. There are many matches in this box. Now, let's look at what amount of ginger Anne buys. Uh, something else? Uh, some ginger? Uh, right there, love. Oh, right. Just this piece, please. OK. Anne bought a piece of ginger. The parts of things that can be broken up are called pieces. What have you got there, Brenton? A block of chocolate. Can I have some, please? Yes, I'll give you a piece. Thanks. It's nearly time for our coffee break. I'll pour. Um, how much do you want? A big cup or a small cup? Oh, a big cup, please. Now, do you want some milk? Yes, just a little bit. Okay. Oh, a little bit more. That's enough. Thank you. How many sugars do you want? Two, please. One. Two. Now, how closely were you listening? How much coffee did Brenton ask for? A big cup. How much milk did he ask for? A little bit. How much chocolate did he give me? A piece. <laughs> and what did Brenton say when I had poured all the milk he wanted? That's... That's enough. Listen to the attendant one more time. Will that be all? Yes, that will be all for today. We learned that how much is for quantities that you can weigh and measure, and that how many is used for things that you can count. We found out that many also means a lot. And that if you don't have any, you have none. In our next episode, we'll find out how to say exactly where something is.